Chronometry, take two. So today we are going to do one of our most complicated setups for Power Lab. There's uh, a number of steps and some important instructions to follow. So as long as you follow the instructions, you'll be okay. So we're going to start out with our typical setup, plugging in our power cord and then also the USB cord. These connections are both on the back of our AD Instruments Power Lab box. So once that's hooked up that way, I'm just going to hook up the USB to the front of the computer. And then I am going to hook the power cable up there. And uh, at this point, the lights are not on, so when I'm ready, I will turn the switch on. First thing we want to do is hook up our uh, spirometry pod. And this pod is going to need to warm up for 10 minutes. So I'll hook up this flow head. And these connections are rather delicate. They can get damaged. And it's kind of an odd setup. So you're not just pushing this on here. You actually need to twist it about a quarter turn counterclockwise and then twist on there. So it is kind of screwing on. The challenge is really that there can be some tension on this uh, uh, hose and that will make it more difficult to set it up properly. So the quarter turn counterclockwise will help you with that and to get it on there so it stays on there and doesn't want to twist off on you. So once that's set up, I'm going to start this up and this spirometry pod will need to warm up for five to 10 minutes. We already warmed it up, so there's no need to uh, wait and do that again. So we are basically ready to set up the connection that'll go out to our subject. So this is a, a pneumotech or a flow head and this is a reusable device. We actually use a filter so that nothing gets in there that we don't want to. Uh, but going out to our subject, we need to make a connection so they have a nice uh, disinfected system to breathe through and to put their mouth on. So the adapter is going to go on the flow head like that. It doesn't matter which side when you first set it up. We can make the adjustments in the software that we'll pull up in a minute here. Uh, one of these sides of the purple filter is going to fit snugly, so you want it to fit snugly on that side, and then finally you'll put the mouthpiece in right here like this. So this at this point is set up uh, for our subject. This is a single use uh, for each subject, so if we are switching out the subjects, we want to switch out everything from this purple or blue adapter back. And this is going to get disinfected in Cavicide. This is the liquid that we use to disinfect all of our uh, reusable items. So uh, the Cavicide protocol is something that we're actually going to create um, a video for you to have uh, available to check out too. So it gets used with most of our equipment. Now, the last piece that we need is the nose clips. If I'm trying to do this breathing exercise and I don't have the nose clips on, it's not going to work right. So you do have to wear the nose clips in between. Uh, so at this point, everything is set up. My power lab is on. I am going to start up my software and I'm going to type in respiratory settings. So respiratory settings, I'm going to click that and the lab chart software will open up. And then I can see I have a nice green little start button. That means that the box is in communication with the computer. And at this point, what I will do is I will zero my flow head. So I'm going to go into the flow head or the um, flow channel pop-up menu right here. Click spirometry pod and then I'm going to zero that. So I want to make sure that none of my lab partners are playing with that at the time. It's just sitting on the table and I'm going to go zero. And as long as it's not moving, we've zeroed that, and we can click OK. 
Now we do want to check that this is getting us the deflection in the right way. So when I exhale, there should be a downwards deflection. When I inhale, there should be an upwards deflection. So I'll exhale first and then inhale second. Okay, so this is actually, um, when I exhale, it went up, when I inhale, it went down. So what I'm going to do is just click invert. And that will fix this. The other fix for that is to switch this blue adapter to the other side of the flow bit. Either one works equally well. So let's check that again. Again, I'm going to exhale first and inhale second. Okay, so that's the deflection we want. We're all set up to go um, into the next part, which is a calibration. So now for the calibration, I am going to go into spirometry flow. And here what I need to do is before I start this, I'm going to need to do a minute of quiet breathing. So just normal breathing. Uh, I'll start out with a large exhale and then start breathing for a minute. Okay, that wasn't a minute, but for our purpose of instruction today, that's going to be okay. At this point, I'm just going to click stop. And now I go back into the spirometry flow area. Uh, I am going to choose the flow head that we're using here. It's the MLT300L. And then I'm going to click calibrate. And... Okay, so now I've calibrated this and everything should be okay as far as the flow channel goes. Now I will go in and I'm going to go into spirometry volume. And here what I'm going to do is click that check that I'm using the uh, flow channel. So channel one. And I'm going to click apply volume correction and make sure that the instructions and uh, what's input here is correct. In your instructions, it should be 400 milliliters and your volume ratio should be 1.09. And at that point we can click OK. And now you've seen that the bottom graph changes. Let's just breathe through this again to see how this works. <laughs> Okay, so 
everything looks good to me as far as this graph goes. The deflections are going the right way. Uh, we've calibrated this and everything is fitting on the screen for us. If you have a situation where you're actually getting drift, uh, there are some adjustments that we can make and your instructor can help you with those fine adjustments. I'll, many times though, you may have drift if you did not allow this to warm up for at least five to 10 minutes. So uh, that might be something that you wanna start over with or give it a little bit of time and try to set up again. And at this point, you can proceed on with your experiments, but everything is set for uh, the measurements. Is better? Yeah.